feel proud about being even a part of something as great as the Aegis weapon system and the community that makes that weapon and combat system possible is putting it lightly. Aegis is the name of the shield from Greek mythology, and it means protection. My husband's been deployed on Aegis ships many times, and it's very important to me to make the best product and deliver the best capabilities we can. I think it's important to recognize every sailor is somebody's husband, son, daughter, sister. They're somebody special, and they're out there defending the country, and we need to do what we can to help protect them. I was reminded of the importance of what we do. I was sitting next to a Navy captain who told me he has stood in line saluting the flag-draped coffins of fallen sailors in Afghanistan and stressing the importance of what we do. And it's important to all of our workforce that they know that we are helping people come back to their families. People want purpose. You have to be a part of something bigger than yourself in order to really feel good about what you spend all your time doing. And Aegis will give you that. When we go overseas, we're representing not just Lockheed Martin, and we're not just representing the U.S. Navy, we're representing America. When you just sit back and you think about what's providing protection on that aircraft carrier, that's the Aegis weapon system that's doing that. and has been doing so since USS Ticonderoga went to sea in 1983. And it's been this long legacy of uh, providing that protection. Aegis came about during the Cold War. Admiral Wayne Meyer, who I think was a captain at the time, had a vision of let's build a ship that is not a collection of piece parts at the waterfront, but instead let's design the thing as a holistic warship. Admiral Meyer was kind of a, was a visionary. He would always impart the importance of uh, rigorous system engineering. And when he made that comment that we ain't done yet, he was kind of looking to the next 50 years of Aegis. As the defense of the country evolved over time and new threats were introduced, the mission of the Aegis had to uh, change as well. It's a foundation that we continue to build on and builds a lot of confidence that as we change, we carry that pedigree with us because we don't eliminate the history, we build on the history. I never expected to be with Aegis for 36 years. And as Aegis has evolved, I've been able to evolve with it. Aegis isn't what it was 50 years ago. We've been able to look at new technologies and infuse the combat management system with the new technologies. It's a privilege to be a part of the Aegis legacy. When I think of the people who have come before me and the battles they had to fight in order to establish such a strong and powerful system, I am diminished in my own contributions. So if I had the opportunity to wish the Aegis community happy birthday as we're coming up on our 50th, I say the best is yet to come. I was to wish happy birthday to Aegis. I would say you are 50 years young. You are 50 years strong, but you have a lot to do still. And for the program to be still alive and not just alive, but thriving and progressing and continuing to build ships after 50 years is, it's amazing. The threats are changing, they're becoming more numerous, and we better be prepared to fight the fight. So great job, happy birthday, but strap in because there's a lot to come. <laughs>